Hi, I am Arjuna Sundarlingam, and I am a proud Malaysian. When I came to the United States in 2016 to study at the University of Minnesota, I learned how important language has shaped my identity. As I got connected at the school, I found myself speaking one type of English to my American friends and another type of English to my Malaysian friends. And I guess this is because I can speak a different dialect of English, Malaysian English. English has been expanded and enriched by the many cultures living in Malaysia, which are Malay, Chinese, and Indian. The Malaysian English dialect is manifested in a unique speech rhythm, pronunciation, and by the creation of new words. These words are combinations of words from our mother tongues. People from Chinese communities speak Mandarin and Hokkien among other Chinese dialects, and people from Indian communities like my family speak Tamil among other Indian dialects. In school, the national language Malay and British English are taught and spoken equally throughout the years. But among my friends in Malaysia, we speak Malaysian English to each other. I grew up mostly speaking English to my friends because I am from a large city, Kuala Lumpur. However, English use in social settings is less prevalent in rural areas. An example of a Malaysian English phrase is Abadan. then. This is a typical Malaysian response to an obvious question. For example, I told a friend I would keep her cat while she was on vacation, but I didn't realize I would have to feed the cat. My friend replies, Abba then, did you expect the cat to go look for food on its own? Abba then means, what else did you expect? Or, wasn't that obvious? Although it is difficult to track down origins of words, some say the origin of this expression is a combination of the word a bo from a Chinese dialect Hokkien, which directly translates to if not, and the English word then. And there's a whole list of other words that we have created like potong steam, fuyo, rumpet, pokai, Now that I live in the US, I rarely use Malaysian English and it only comes out when I'm spending time with my Malaysian friends. Often, the test of being a successful immigrant in United States society is speaking English well. And some may argue that Malaysian English is imperfect English, but I would say that it is a valid variation of English. Just as British English was changed by the people in the United States to American English, so too did Malaysians create their own unique dialect of English. In the beginning stages of the United States, their English was viewed as inferior to British English. But over time, it has gained legitimacy and widespread use Although Malaysian English is not as established or well-known, it is the product and manifestation of the many cultures present in my home country. And in that way, we have taken English and made it our own.